So I recommend to get a more even stretch in your hamstrings to be practicing with bent knees when you fold forward. I'm just gonna show you an example of what it would look like if I was very tight, I'm pretty tight in my hamstrings, but if I was very tight in my hamstrings and I went to fold forward with my legs locked. So you could see that I don't really get any movement in my hamstring and that mainly just my back is rounding. So I, I see this a lot when people come to class in the beginning, they'll be trying to reach for their feet and they'll have their legs straight and they're not really getting any movement from their pelvis. So what I recommend is a bend in the knees, enough bend into the knees, and when you bend the knees, to feel your pelvis tip so that your hamstrings can open up nicely. Depending on how tight your hamstrings are, you might bend your knees significantly to let the hamstrings stretch evenly. And then as you feel the hamstrings start to open and stretch, you can start to open up the backs of the knees, the backs of the legs, and start to lift your hips more over your heels. So that's how I recommend stretching your hamstrings. Uh, another example of this would be practicing seated postures. When you practice seated postures, to keep the legs totally straight, if your hamstrings, back body are very tight, would make many people tuck under. So especially like stiff guys, athletes, people who haven't practiced yoga a lot, you see when they go to sit with legs straight that their body looks more like this. It'd be more important to me to be able to sit up tall and same action like how, you're, how I was practicing standing to work on bending the knees so that the pelvis could tip nicely so that the hamstrings open up more evenly instead of this type of shape.